Hi, Jackie. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? <laughs> I am fine. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, yes, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy, and... happy New Year. Happy New Year, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it? Good? Mm, yes, good. Great. Excellent. Too much food, tamales and everything? Um, <laughs> uh, carnitas, uh, birria. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you. Hi, Melissa. Hello. Hi, hello. How are you? Fine. Fine. Good. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Do you have a camera? <clears throat> Don't be shy. <laughs> there you are, Melissa. Thank you. Albert is entering. Good notes. Hi, Albert. Welcome oh, back. Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Again. Again. I'm ready. How are you doing? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> Excellent. What happened with the other people? Oh my gosh. Octavio is here, no? In this class. Octavio is in this class, yeah. We have Nayeli, Caleb, Jose, another Jose, because it's Jose Octavio, right? Yes, Jose Octavio. Yeah. Alias El Tavo. Mr. Tavo. How are you, Melissa? You want to introduce yourself? Before we start? <clears throat> there you go. I don't see your camera, Melissa. Maybe that's a problem. Start the yes, phone day, with the, the phone with the internet. Oh, with the internet. There's a problem yes. with the internet. Yes, yes. In mm -hmm. in the mine is a. Uh, Slow. Yes, at this time, always because uh, oh. all the people in the room and um, use the internet Wi-Fi. At this time, of course. All right, no worry. Najeli, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Happy Good, New Year. Happy New Year. Good, thank you, and you? I'm good, thank you. Ready for your class? Uh, yes. Excellent. And with your camera? Stay uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, guys, um, today we are going to start with step number six. Okay? Um, 
we before we start, let's do a very fast review before Christmas, okay? Because, I don't know, we need to check, you know? We need to check um, maybe the last week before Christmas, but very fast, okay? Very, very fast. Hi, Caleb. How are you, mister? Hello, Caleb, is your microphone working? In camera? Okay. Caleb. There you go. All right, so let's let's do this very fast. It's a review, okay? A review. And then the topic that we were practicing, um, thank you, Nayeli, the, the topic that we were practicing was simple present. Okay? So simple present is obviously present, right? But it's actually easy. It's easy to understand. You know, um, let's focus on, for example, that we have positive sentence, we have negative sentence, we have questions, all of it in this case, right? And um, a particularity of simple present is going to be the conjugation of the verb, of course. Okay, for example, Rainer teaches, right? This is the termination of simple present. You remember? The S or ES or IES in this case, right? Rainer teaches English at 7.30 p.m. For example, right? Now, this is for the positive sentences. Hi, Caleb. How are you? Your microphone, mister? What happened? Maybe it's not connected. No? All right. Uh, Rainer teaches English at 7 p.m., but we need to do the negative in, in this case. If we want to do the negative, we need to understand that simple present is going to have as an auxiliary, okay, do and does. You remember mm -hmm. that, right? Those auxiliaries are specific for simple present, right? Um, so what is this in Spanish, Caleb? Oh, Caleb, your microphone is working. <laughs> No, maybe not. What is that in Spanish, Mr. Albert? Rainer, enseña inglés a las 7.30. Enseña, right? So we're talking about present, enseña. Now, what will be the negative, Albert, in Spanish? In Spanish, negative. No enseña. Rainer no Rainer enseña, no right? Enseña. So in that case, we're going to get Rainer... We need an auxiliary to make a negative. What will be the auxiliary for this case? If Rainer is equal he, right? Does. Does, Does. negative? Doesn't. Doesn't. What happens to the verb? What happens to the verb if you have an auxiliary? Don't use the S, only tish. Don't use the S like that. Rainer doesn't teach English at 7.30. Right? Okay. We're good, Nayeli? This is easy, right? You remember this before Christmas, you remember? <laughs> I know, right? Por eso vamos a hacer el review, ¿ok? Solo para que se acuerden de los positivos y los negativos. 
del tiempo que estamos estudiando, simple present. Now, we have this, right? Positives and negatives. The questions, we're going to use them tomorrow, not today. We're going to focus on positive and negatives. But the class of today is going to be prepositions of time. This is the class of today. Prepositions of time. But mo the most common in this case, right? Because we have more. We're going to study the most common. Prepositions of time. Yep. All right. Look at this one right here. Let's divide pre-position, pre-position, which is this one, right? Prepositions of what? Of time in this case, right? We have prepositions of place. We have prepositions of time. We have prepositions of manner, which is another one, right? So, if we think about preposition, pre is going to be equal to before, oh. right? Like pre, I don't know, what is a, another word? Predisposition, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> and position is going to be a place, obviously, right? But if we think about prepositions of time, okay, we have time. Okay? So, this is what it is a preposition. If you ever, ever, ever in English, you have time, for example, what was the example of me? Rainer teaches English at 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Let me do the example. Rainer teaches English at 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Okay. What's the time in the sentence? 10 to 30 p.m. This is the time. 7.30 p.m., right? Now, we have the time. But we say that before the time, we have a preposition. Before the time, we have a preposition. Before the time, we have a preposition. At. At. Okay? So, always that you have a time, what do you need? Preposition. A preposition of what? Because we have many, Perfect. right? A preposition of time, right? If I go, for example, um, I don't know, Jackie goes to school uh, from Monday to Friday. Okay, what's the time in there? Monday to Friday. That's the time. Oops. Monday to Friday. This is this is the time, right? And before the time, you need a preposition of time. A preposition of time, which is from from and to. to. Okay. How about this one? Caleb plays soccer on Sundays. What's the time? Caleb, what is the time? Melissa? Sunday. Sundays, this is the time, right? So, we need a preposition of time before the time. Yes, Nayeli. Okay. Okay. 
let's go with the info we have. This is the first one. Preposition of time number one, it's on. Can you help me, Jackie, please, to read? Use with day and days on Monday, said. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la siguiente teacher? 11th. 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 Ah, it's a, a number. Yep. It's a uh, number. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a number, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every time, look at this one. Every time that you use a day or a date, you are going to use on, right? As a preposition of place, correct? For example, give me a, give me an example, um, Melissa, with Monday. Give me an example with Monday. Oh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I, I'm work. Um, I always uh, work on Monday. I always work, and then she's going to use Monday as time. Correct. All right, on, because this one is a day. Make sense? So, um, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Friday, on Saturday. Make sense? All right. And with a date, for example, September 11th, um, we celebrate we celebrate um well we don't celebrate right mm -hmm. yeah we remember maybe we remember um the tragedy yeah. i don't know i'm inventing okay mm -hmm. the tragedy uh, on September 11th. So, because it's a date, a date, you're going to use on. Okie dokie. So, an example is my birthday is on. Exactly. January. When is your birthday, Albert? In January. <laughs> When is your birthday? But give me the complete sentence. My birthday is on. My birthday uh, is on. January 7th, no, 16th. It's on January 16th. Almost next week. Yeah, it's the next week. Yeah. My birthday is on because we have a date in here, right? Okay, questions in this moment? No. Mayeli, no? Let's go with the next one. In, it's another preposition. Can you help me, Nayeli, to read, please? Uh, to in use we months and just in uh -huh. June. Um, you like to thousand? Yes. F fifteen. Yes, two thousand fifteen. So, um, for example, when do we when do we celebrate Christmas, Najeli? When do we celebrate Christmas? In one month. Uh, in the December, we celebrate Christmas, right? And then you're gonna say December twenty five, December. But in this case, only the month. Only the in, month. In December, okay. But 
What happens, Nayeli, if you put 24 in here? This is a date. Yes. What happened to this? Huh? It's it's not only the month, it's the date. Mm -hmm. The date is on. Change, on. We're gonna change it to on, correct. Okay. <clears throat> or you can say, for example, um, I was born, nasi, right? I was born, and then I don't know. 1998, I don't know, I'm inventing, right? So, because this is a year, we're gonna get what in here? What proposition? One. In here, oh. a year. In, right? Mm -hmm. I was born in 1998. You got it, Jackie? In, all right. So let's review. Okay. For years, what do you use? In. For years, in. And for days, Monday, on. Tuesday, on. Right? And for dates, Jackie, for dates? Uh, it's on. It's on for days. And for, what am I missing? Month. Months, Melissa, months. In, right? In, on, that's it. But wait, we need one more. At. It's another it's another preposition of place. Can you help me, Melissa, to read, please? Use with a specific time of day at seven thirty. Sorry. Um, night. At night. All right. So. We have for the specific time, every time that you do time like this, you know, from a clock, you're gonna use at. I have lunch, 1 p.m. Preposition, I have lunch at 1 p.m., right? And then guys, be careful on this one because we have a parts of the day, parts of the day, we have morning, we have afternoon. What else do we have? Parts of the day. The noon. The noon. 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 Very good. Which is equal 12 p.m., 12 right? Yes. 12 o'clock, yeah. On the morning. Morning, we got it. Okay. The night. Night. We have night. Middle and between night. the be, between the afternoon and the night. Mm. You forgot that evening. Uh, evening. Evening. Even evening. So we have morning, afternoon, noon. Right? Actually, Evening. this one goes, it's like this, morning, noon, afternoon, like that, okay? So, preposition of time for in, because we have that. Preposition of morning, what is it? At the morning? No. It's another one. On the morning. Ah, uh, at the morning. On the morning. On the morning. In. 
in the morning. I work in the mornings. Yeah. Right? Now, when you talk about noon, the preposition is at, at noon. Yeah? Afternoon, we use the, remember, what is it? I work in the afternoon. I work in the afternoons in, right? And then we use the for evening. In the evening. In the evening. We have another mm -hmm. one. In but this one is at night. Uh. All right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Questions, Jackie, in this moment? Caleb, how was your microphone? Working or not? No. And you, Melissa, how, how are you? Doing good? Yes. Good. All right. So here it is. This is what we were talking about, right? Can you help me, Jackie, again, please? Use with in the morning, in the afternoon, in the baby? In the evening? Uh, evening. Uh, yes. At use with at night, the morning, yes. the afternoon, the evening? Perfect. So in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. You got it? At night. All right. We have one more, which is in again, and we're gonna use it for seasons, mm -hmm. right? So you can say, I take, I take vacation in the summer. So this is your time. Summer is your time. And this is your, what is this? The pink one? What is the pink one? Preposition. It's a preposition. In summer, in fall, winter, and spring. Okay. What is this in Spanish, uh, Nayeli? Summer, what is in Spanish? En el verano. 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 And fall? You remember fall, um, Jack? Uh, huh? Which one, Albert? Otoño. 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 Summer, verano, fall, otoño. Winter? Anybody? In Invierno? Invierno, Jackie. And spring? How do you say mm. spring in Spanish? Spring break. Spring break, yeah. Mm. Pues na verano. Primavera. Las mariposas, de las flores. Primavera. Primavera, right. Summer, fall, winter, and spring. Yeah. So it's in, okay? In summer, in fall, in winter, in spring. Yes, Caleb? All right. And then we have a particular. This is a little bit different, right, from two. And then we need to, a specific time, for example, from 2011 to 2024. This one is like double, right? This is the time. This is the time. And these are the prepositions of time, okay? From to. 
you can say something like, I work. Can you complete the sentence? From seven. I work from seven. From seven a.m. Four p.m. Four p.m. From two. Yep. From Monday to Friday, from morning to noon, I don't know, right? From September to December, whatever. Okay. Let's see. A ver si se acuerdan. On. For what? On is for what? Uh, they give me uh, a, give me ex yeah give me examples for example days uh, give me example uh, of days um um uh, you got it Jackie you can do it days of the week right um. What is today, Jackie? What's today? Uh, what is what's today? Today, what day uh, is today? On Monday. Monday. On Monday. You say on Monday. Very good. What else you use for on? Albert. For the dates. For the dates. Give me an, an example. On what? Uh, today is, uh, what day is today? It's uh, uh, January 8th. Okay. January 8th. On, on January 8th. Very good. Proposition on. Um, Nayeli, in, give me examples. In what? Please. Mm -hmm. In January. In January, yeah. Caleb, you can type it, Caleb. In January, correct. In. <clears throat> Did you type it, Caleb? Melissa, you have one? In what? In... No, in December or years um two hundred two thousand twenty. 2020 in 2020 yes and then in but parts of the day what you got we have a few in here in the morning in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in the night Okay, oh, in the like, evening. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. And at, at is for two, remember? Specific time. Give me an example. At 7.30. At 7.30. At yeah. And another for at, which is part of the day. At okay. night. At night. Night. Okay, make sense? Let's do the exercise. Can you help me? Caleb, no, the microphone didn't work. Hey, mm. Yes, I have you, man. Jackie, number one, please. Uh, my girlfriend worked at 
night, ella. Thank you, Albert. Number two. I wake up uh, at seven at seven a.m. Seven o'clock a.m. Seven o'clock a.m. Nayeli, number three. Uh, I was born in two thousand no one thousand ninety hundred. Jackie, eh, Nayeli, divided is easy. Remember yes. the years? Uh, 1982. Excellent. 1982. Yeah. Caleb, number four. Mm, I start classes on SEP 25. You got it. Melissa, number five, please. Some restaurants only open at night. You got it, yeah, at night. Jackie again. Uh, I finished high school. Uh, um, and 2022? Yeah, 2022. But what is the preposition? In? In? In. 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 Yeah, in. in. All right. Mr. Albert? We have an important re reunion on Saturday morning. On Saturday because it's a day. Nayeli, please. I never work at night. I never work at night. Caleb, please. And the plane arrives uh, at evening. In or at? At. In. In, in right? In, in that evening. Because look, um, look at this one. In, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, Caleb. All right. Nice. Melissa, number 10, please. The sushi will be ready at 6 o'clock. You got it. And say 6 o'clock p.m. or 6 p.m. 6 PM. It's good too. Uh, Jackie, please. Uh, do you have class? Uh... And uh, winter, uh, winter, Win winter, winter, winter. Yeah. But preposition of place in. Oh yes, teacher. Yes, in. All right. Say it, Jackie. In. Because you have a little problem in the pronunciation. In, 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 in. Yeah, in, in. in. You got, it. you got it, Albert. Twelve. Uh, my birthday in, in, in July, <laughs> in July, oh, no. and yours? Is in July, thank you. Mary. My birthday is in July, and yours? Thank you, Caleb, 13. Uh, we celebrate independence in September. In September, only the month, Nayeli, please. Um, I don't work on Sunday. Perfect. Melissa, number 15. Um, in 2020? Yes. We had a pandemic. Yes. Jackie, number 16, please. Uh, I had my vacation on October. On or in? Uh, on. Check it because it's a month. Is, is, is in. Is in, <laughs> right? It's confusing because if you put October 10th, 
All right, well, we change it to on, right? Yes, teacher. Nice, 17, Mr. Albert. Oh, be careful on this one. Uh, yes, yeah. I love to travel in summer. In summer, this is in red. Yes, it's in red. Yep, 18, Nayeli. You have two times, okay? Um, I work from nine a.m. to five p.m. You got it. Yes, Caleb, number nineteen, please. Uh, do you work in the mornings? You got it, Melissa. I will travel to Japan in January. In January, yes. Jackie, please. Uh, we celebrate Christmas in December. In December. And Mr. In Albert, finish. In Jackie. I, in. Have, I have class on Monday. I have classes on Mondays. All right. Now. Prepositions are very, 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 very complicated, okay? So we need to remember every time that we use a preposition, we need to pay attention, you know? It's a day, a month, a year. What is it, right? Okay, so... I'm going to give you two minutes so you can answer this, okay? Now, in the lines, you need prepositions of time. Pay attention to what is next. Pay attention to the time, right? All right, two minutes. Here we go. You have the book or you want me to show you the book? Uh, show you, please. <laughs> show me? <laughs> you cheater, mister. There you go. Be careful here, okay? Because we have two times in there. We finished. Yes, Jackie. Yes, 
Yes. Nayeli, how are you? Finished? No. Melissa? Yes. Finished, okay. How are you, Mr. Albert? Ready? All right. All right, let's do it then. So Carla wakes up. What is it? At. Carla, wa Carla wakes up at 7.30 on, on weekdays. She takes a shower and then she eats breakfast. At. At 8 a.m. She always feels tired. In the morning. What is it? In. In the morning, yeah, in the morning. She takes the bus. Uh, okay. At. At 8.36, yeah. Mondays. On. on Mondays. The bus is very crowded. Maybe this is a new word for you. Crowded. Full of people. Crowded. The mall is crowded. The bus. The concert is crowded. Okay. The bus is very crowded. Fridays. On. on Fridays. She sometimes gets a seat. She studies English, remember, two times. From Monday. From Monday, Monday to pronunciation Friday. Friday. From Monday to Friday. She has two classes. One In the morning. In the morning. And one? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. She works. At? She works at 2 p.m. She works in a hamburger place. She likes her job. Summer. In, in the summer. In the summer. But she hates her job in the winter. In the winter. Very good. Okay. Se fijan como hay muchas preposiciones están en todos lados. Okay. Chequen. Es un mini, mini texto. And we have a lot of prepositions. Right? Um, si lo quieren ver así, chicos, y esto es importante que lo analicen desde este momento que están iniciando el proceso de hacer bilingües, es, hay un camino siempre, ¿no? Si lo vamos de esa forma. Va a haber piedritas, digamos, en el camino. Esas piedritas van a hacer que su inglés sea malo, ¿sí? Y usualmente esas piedritas son las preposiciones. ¿Sí? Digamos que tenemos buen inglés, a veces vamos adquiriendo buena gramática, buen vocabulario y no le prestamos atención a las preposiciones. Y las preposiciones es lo que vienen a ensuciar el inglés de mucha gente. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, las preposiciones son muy importantes. ¿Ok? Y, y siempre, si se fijan, son in, on, at, by. ¿Me explico? Son muy pequeñitas. Okie dokie. So let's pay attention to those. Okie dokie. Let's go with number two. Let's do it together, okay? Carlos wakes up. 
at, tell me. At, at 5 a.m. He is a waiter at a breakfast restaurant. He opens the restaurants at, at 5.30 a.m. Carlos gets up at, at 5.05 .05 and takes a quick shower. Then he goes to work at, at what happened there? I don't know what I did. Okay. At 5.20. He lives four blocks away. He arrives to the restaurant. Same situation. What? At 5.30. Just the perfect time to make coffee. Then he sits the table. He sets the tables and prepares customers around... At? At no. around, at no. around. Aquí hay doble preposición. Uh -huh. And it's, it's possible. No es solo específica. con el Sí, solo con el around podemos mezclar dos. Uh -huh. Okay. Por ejemplo, at around 3 p.m. Right? Uh, 3 p.m., 3.20, I don't know. But if you say at 3 p.m., it's more specific, right? Carlos serves them with a smile. He finishes work. At, I know. Actually, Pronto. yes, at 2 p.m. And then from Monday, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. To Friday. Carlos studies English in the afternoons. Ahí lo tenemos normal. Mm -hmm. He likes his job, but not the cold winter. December. In December. In, in, in December. Or the blizzards. In January. In January. ¿Saben lo que son los blizzards? Tormentas de nieve. Blizzards. That's why we have the um, Dairy Queen I, I, I blizzard. Yes, it's all. <laughs> it's all... <laughs> right? Blizzards. Okay. Okay. Can you help me, Albert, with the instructions, please, man? Thanks, Atari Cream. Look at the picture shown by the professor. Use the info to make positive, negative sentence or make a question. Use the verb to be and the preposition of time in, at, on. Okay, bear to be. All right. Look at the example. This is the example, okay? You can write it on number one in here. What is number one? My mom is always tired at night. You can write it over here because we're going to do those sentences, okay? My mom is always tired at night. We understand the sentence? My mom is always tired at night. Yeah? Okay. So, in this case... I'm going to give you the time, only the time. And you need to give me a sentence with the correct preposition. Make sense? Okay. For example, September, I'm going to start with Najeli. September, tell me something with September, but with a good preposition. In September, is the independence day? 
is the independence day. Uh, yeah independence day in september you got it yeah that's the objective jackie ready summer um uh, and in the summer um is funny okay mm. uh, no. in summer oh yeah it's possible but you know what a ver, vamos a hacer esto. In the summer, no. In the summer, ajá, in the summer, no. We eliminate that, right? In Spanish, sí decimos en el verano, right? Um... But in English, it's in summer only. In summer, it is hot. Make sense? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Now, pero ¿qué pasa aquí? Cuando iniciamos con una preposición la oración, una vez más, cuando iniciamos una oración con una preposición, ¿sí? Usualmente vamos a hacer como una introducción a la oración. Por ejemplo, en verano es caliente. ¿Se fijan que hacen una pausa? Porque estamos usando una preposición at the beginning of the sentence, right? So, it is, it is correct, yes. It is beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit ugly, you know? In this moment, for you, for this level. So, it is good to say, for example, it is hot in summer. Make sense? We switch it and we don't do the division. All right, Jackie? Okay, teacher. Okay, this one, number three. Let's go with Caleb. 5.25 p.m., mister. At mm, uh, 5.25, I don't wake up. Uh, at 5.25, I don't wake up. Same situation, Caleb. Do the switch. You know? I don't wake up at 5.25. Make sense? All right. Melissa, ready? Yes. Here we go. January. January. Okay. Just for you to remember. This is difficult. January. Yeah. Uh, teacher. Yes. Yes. My, my Your microphone. microphone. <laughs> Hello. Better. Okay. Sorry, Melissa. Um. Is what? Uh -huh. Albert? Albert birthday is in January? Yes, Albert. In this case, Albert preposition apostrophe mm -hmm. S, right? Albert's mm -hmm. birthday. Is what's the preposition, Melissa? In is in January. Very good. Yeah. Coming with Albert. Thank you, Melissa. Tuesday. Uh I mm. It's easy, it's present. Uh, I haven't been on Tuesday. I have uh, what? 
a meet yeah. on Tuesday. I have a, we're going to change it to meeting. I have a meeting. I have a meeting. On Tuesday. Very good. Yeah. Day of the day of the week. Ready, Nayeli? Year 2022. I I was born my niece mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two. In twenty twenty two. Very good. All right, let's modify a little bit. We're gonna do this one. No, my this niece. one which she exactly. My niece. What is niece? You remember niece? What is niece, Nayeli? Sobrina. Sobrina. My niece was born in 2022. Yeah? Yaki, ready? Oh, very easy. The evening. Um... Um, teacher, what is the evening? Evening, que sería evening, guys? Exactly. En las tardes cuando ya se va a meter el sol. Ah. Tarde noche. Tarde noche, atardecer, ajá, en la tarde, tar en la tarde, pero como dice Albert, ya el sol uh, ya se está ocultando. Uh, Reynard is in the evening. Uh huh. But right now? Um, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Supposition. Uh huh. Maybe uh, right now, no. Maybe uh, an, e an event. Un evento, Jackie. An event. Um, For example. Place. The movie, the a, a place can be too. Um, a concert. I I okay. I play, and uh, okay. and the uh, evening. Mm -hmm. I play in the evening. You play what? I'm sorry, Jackie. I play. I play uh, soccer. Okay. I play soccer mm -hmm. in the evening. You got it. Caleb, ready? Winter. Mm, in winter, I like to... go to... with my parents. Uh-huh. Uh in winter, I like to go... With my parents. There you go. Thank you, Caleb. Nayeli, you got it? The morning. Come on, Nayeli. This is easy. You got it. I exercise in the morning. I exercise in the morning. You got it. Melissa. 11 a.m. Um. I start meeting in, at eleven 
a.m. Mm -hmm. I start meeting at 11 a.m. Um, you need something in here. Un artículo. We have three options. A, the, or an. Sorry. The, a, or an. What's, what's the best option? A. I start a meeting. All right. I start a meeting at 11 a.m. Yep. Albert, to finish, I think. The last one, Albert. Okay. Uh, um, the weather is better in fall. The weather is better in fall. You got it, man. In fall. All right. It's good. We got it. Mm -hmm. Prepositions of time, okay? Don't you forget. Now, here we have more prepositions. Tell me if you understand these prepositions right here. For example, during. ¿Qué sería during? Como durante. Durante, durante, right? For example, it can be um, I eat. Oh, no, no, no. I drink coffee during the morning. Make sense? During. Now, what happens in here? We have the morning, but we don't have in. Right? Because during is that preposition. During the morning. Right? Okay. Entonces, ¿qué sería esto de aquí en español? I drink coffee during the morning. Yo tomo café durante la mañana. There you go. During the morning. Until, maybe this is new. You got it, Albert. Or Melissa, maybe. Hasta. Es hasta. Hasta. Okay. For example, um, the movie no, because it will have to be plural. Mm. I see the movie until okay. The end. I see the movie. Very good example. I see the movie until the end. Hasta el final. Very good. It's, it's more common use till the end. Till the end. Yeah. Good observation. I this one we're gonna change it for watch. Okay. Okay. I watch the movie till the end. Yeah. For example, until you can do the contraction till. For example, right? Until is equal till. I watch the movie till the end, right? Very good, Albert. Okay. After, very easy because you know after party, right? That's easy. And before? What is before? Antes de party. Mm -hmm. Antes de la fiesta, right? Before party. <laughs> right? I take a shower. I take a shower before, before the, party. the party. I take a shower, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Please, right? <laughs> And then we have within, maybe this is new for you, within, it's new, mm. Mm. It's, it's, it's not so popular, okay, okay. It, it's not very popular, but for example, I, I do my homework, for example, I do my homework, within the afternoon. This one is very similar to in. 
But dentro. Right? Como hago mi tarea dentro de la tarde. You know, from this period. You know what I mean? Within. Within. Okay. And then around. Remember around? Mm -hmm. Right? Not a specific. Can be, uh, I don't know, the restaurant. Okay. Opens. Yeah. Around 10 a.m. I'm not sure, right? Okay. And then between, you remember between as a preposition of place? Two parts yes. between. Between, exactly. So we can say, we can say, um, Again, I do my homework. I do my homework between between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So, let's go with pronunciation, guys. Pronunciation. All right. Let's see. Number one, during, 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 this U is going to be a, until, until, a, until, right? Until. Yeah. This is easy, after, easy, after, after, before, before, this T is like a D, mm -hmm. within, Within. 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 Yeah, it's like a D. Around. 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 Between. 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 Okay. All right. So these ones are what? What are these? Que son? Prepositions. Prepositions of? Of time. Of time. Ok. Ahora, si nos vamos acá. Aquí decía. The most common prepositions of time. The most common is in, on, at. Ok. Those are the most common. But if we go over here, we got more prepositions of time. Which are those? Okay, doc. All right. Let's see. Let's continue. We can do this. Um. We have ten sentences in here. Okay, and we need to use these prepositions of time. Now, we have other option because we have. I mean, it's not so strict. You know what I mean? No es tan estricto. Estas preposiciones no son tan estrictas como las otras. Remember the other ones. I mean, the other one is day on, year in. These ones are more flexible. Okay? Example. My girlfriend works at what? We can say at. That's that. The specific one, right? Yes. And another option, my girlfriend oh. works around. Around. Until. Okay. It can be around. It can be until. Right. Mi novia trabaja alrededor de las nueve o hasta las nueve. Very good. Help me, Melissa, with number two, please. I wake up at. Seven o'clock. Um, other option. Um, we have many options. Before, before it's possible. Seven. Yeah, I wake up before seven a.m. It's another option. Albert, help me with three. 
I I was born in uh, in I was born within within yes within 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 que sería dentro del margen de 1982 right dentro de very good uh, Jackie number four Uh, I start class uh, on perfect um, September 25 yeah um, another option that it's perfect for that too um, Um, Ooh, we have many, right? We have a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is... Hmm? Um, no sé qué, qué preposición de tiempo sería, teacher. ¿La otra opción? Ajá, la otra opción. Pues puede ser, mira, yo empiezo clases en septiembre 25. Ese es el original, ¿no? On September 25th. ¿Podrías decir antes de septiembre 25th? ¿Podrías decir después de septiembre 25th? ¿Podrías decir hasta? ¿Right? Yes. Uh, is after. After is possible. I start classes after September 25th. Después del 25 de septiembre, yeah. Caleb, number five. The original and another option. Uh, some restaurants only open at night. Yes. Oh, no, sería in, in night. No, at night is correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. During. During, very good. Some restaurants open, only open during night, durante la noche. That's nice. Nayeli, number six, please. Mm -hmm. The movie starts at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. The movie stars and Antio. Antio. La movie, la movie empieza hasta las ocho. Very good. Melissa, help me with seven, please. I have a meeting on Monday morning. Yes. Um, all the shows. Okay. Auntie? That's an option. I have a meeting until Monday. I am on Friday. I have a meeting until Monday morning. Very good. Mr. Albert. Almost finished, guys. Casi terminamos, okay? Uh, he usually goes to the gym. Uh, after works. After work. Very good. Another option, mister? Um, usually goes to the gym. Um, during? Before? No. It can be before. 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 It can be before. It can be during if you cheat, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like it can be, uh, maybe, maybe more in the gym, too. May, maybe he works <laughs> in the gym, right? Yes. 
That's right. <laughs> Yucky, number nine. Come on, Yucky. Uh, we went on vacation and summer. Uh, what, what's the pronunciation for this, Yucky? In summer. In summer. In summer. Uh, summer. Uh, um, Another similar for in can be this one and this one, right, guys? Similar to yes. in. Like within can be or during, right, Jackie? Uh, yes, teacher. Is within? We, with a D, con una D, within, within. Uh, within? Within. Mm -hmm, within. Within. Finish, Melissa, please. The concert ended at midnight. At midnight, oh. yeah, because we have night. Very good. Uh, other option is within. Within midnight? Mm, not so good. Mm, until? Until or is good. During? or during, or after, or before too, right? Before, whatever, <laughs> yeah. yeah, around. I know. Ar around is possible too, yeah. Okay, good. We're gonna finish with this tomorrow, can we? Okay. okay. All right. Um, bueno, mañana vamos a hacer un listening, okay, de the prepositions during, until, after, before, within, around, before, between, I'm sorry, oh, so bad the answer. Listening, listening. Mucho listening mañana. Okay? okay. Mucho, mucho listening mañana. Um, si tienen oportunidad, terminen esto, chicos, porfa. Okay? Específicamente estos, los principales, ¿no? Porque acá... Acuérdense que estas preposiciones nuevas son muy flexibles. Okie dokie. Yes. Eh, muy bien. ¿Cómo se sintieron? Tenemos gente nueva, Albert y Melissa. All good? Yes, I feel good. Yeah. Jackie, Caleb, Nayeli, se sintieron eh, observados. <risa> no. No, Melissa, ¿cómo te sentiste? Muy fácil. Uh, yes. Yes. But it's okay. It's a good, was a good review. Yeah. Acuérdense que y métanse esto en la cabeza para todos, ¿eh? El inglés no es precisamente lo que estás estudiando. Es el tiempo que estás en contacto con el idioma. ¿Sí? Pueden estar estudiando algo muy fácil o algo muy difícil o algo intermedio. Lo que... No importa. Aquí lo que importa es cuánto tiempo tú estás en contacto con el idioma. Acuérdense que hay que juntar mil horas si quieren ser expertos. Mil horas. ¿Ok? Nos vemos mañana, pues, chicos. Bienvenidos de nuevo y hay que darle. A ver si mañana tu... llegan los más alumnos. ¿Eh? Till tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep. Bye bye. Good night. Oh, Melissa and Albert. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Melissa and Albert. There you go. Okay. Um, déjenme parar la grabación. Quiero hablar con ustedes.